so this is the opening passage of the Bartok Viola Concerto, uh, the Tibor Surly edition. Uh, so you're going to, in the moderato, you're going to kind of want to just float. Um, two, three, four. With a different kind of color. And also, to keep in mind, it's octatonic, and it's centered around the A, um, as well as you're in sonata form in this, in this whole entire section. So... Um, Also, the quarter note equals 104, and Bartok was very precise with his uh, with his metronome markings, as well. So, um, so. Celerando, do not, uh, this whole passage, never stop um, at all because the music does not call for it. So... The folk music aspect of this, so... So this is your breaking up uh, by twos. Until that, that's one very long phrase. So you do not this this whole movement uh, is especially driven by this forward motion. So um, the accelerando is up, so down, up, down, up. Flat, um, usually a lot of people don't hold it up for the full length, so you want to hold it for four beats. Two, three, four, one. It's a, a tremendous amount of accent and also crescendo up to that note. Um, and the, uh, the tempo, the new tempo, so... Um, Direction. Don't slow down. No. So like one. to the orchestra in that passage. So there's no retardando in that section from 21 until the end. So uh, again, just, just remember this whole page, this, uh, the first page, one very, very long phrase. So just, just keep that in mind. If we're going on, so... you're going to want to sing but again bring out these Hungarian uh, folk melodies so uh, and the way you could do it is so, um, I do two four four two so you, you really want those notes to be coming out Break it in the middle. Sing. This next passage as smooth as possible. Try not 
not to make any bow changes or accents. <laughs> Very precise. So, do not take any time in this. in between. Um. Again, you're going to bring out these two voices, so do not do back as possible and as much as possible. in this section. New tempo. Crescendo, so. Okay, so if we go to the, the violin section, um, it comes in and then... That's when the violin uh, number one comes in. Less. Again, these are just two voices uh, connecting. Break. Break. It's poco menomoso, so it's a little bit less motion, and the quarter note equals 92. So, um, but remember, you're you're continuing the line from the violin one. This fifth section.
Okay, so the, the fingers for this one is a four, one, Our piano. So this. Come in really nasty. The violins come in the second, the cellos and violins, I believe, come in the second beat. Too. Question. Answer. Time is one, two, two, three, four, three, two, two, one, one, one. So different color. Mm. So 
again, this whole section, you have to be very, very flexible with the, the fingerings and also the left hand as well, because if not, you, you get too tense, then it's going to be impossible. So... Don't lose this character. section so you, every single one of these you're going to want to sustain and vibrate to begin to so the easiest way to get up to the D just third position one every time I practice one so vibrate sustain So start piano. Single one of these offsets. You want to bring out the joy in every single one of these uh, these middle passages over here. So again, change of the color in the odd tempo. Crescendo. So you're going to want to bring out um So the, four, the two voices down.
Okay, so this whole passage over here, let's, let's bring out the voices again. Most important. So the orchestra comes in. Again, I mean, this is basically what you want to make of this passage as well. I mean, it's a very smooth and kind of a nice transition uh, into it. But in, at 160, just get uh, ready. So. <laughs> your fingers as flat as possible for this. Sender in the beginning of that. That's actually going to give it direction and a little bit more phrasing. and uh, remember to kind of lift the bows for this, again, this Hungarian uh, dance. Crescendo. So the next section No, just think of them as almost grace notes, the Pulento. third notes this is the note you want to go to Start strong on tempo. You could do either the C string. 
string or the C, just stay in G. Sing this. One, three, three, two, two, one, yum. This next part is the the lento. It's a parlando, so it's almost as a uh, recitative uh, that someone is singing, um, and it's a very painful and kind of like um, anguished uh, character. So. section really really painful and hold out and every single breath so So... Uh -huh. 